Andrew Luck continues to be the big topic of conversation at the uh, Colts Complex today. Bob Kravitz joins us tonight. Number 12 still not here in Indianapolis? He's not, but he will be shortly. Um, this is a very, very important time in the history of the Indianapolis Colts, certainly their modern history. If Andrew, Andrew's going to go on a throwing regimen now. If he's healthy and there's no pain or inflammation, then I think they're good to go for the draft and free agency, and they can operate uh, as usual. If there is pain and inflammation, he's probably going to have to undergo another surgical procedure called the biceps tendinesis. And that's, uh, it's a common procedure, but that's a three to six month recovery period. And that, again, puts his return in some question. Colts fans, of course, looking at the draft order. And right now it looks as though the Colts are sitting number three. You'd right. think that they'd use that pick on offensive line or defense. But how likely is it that if Luck's not ready, they end up having to select a quarterback? I would say it's highly unlikely that they would go the quarterback route. I think if this is a problem that keeps recurring with Andrew, I think they'll go in free agency and pick up, pick up somebody. But uh, I think they see this as a grand opportunity to get Bradley Chubb, the defensive and out of North Carolina State, and to really bolster their defense and their offensive line. So the Colts now sitting at 3-11. and They've got two games left. What are Colts fans supposed to be thinking as we face these last two weeks of the season? Just lose, baby. Keep that third pick and maybe move up to the second pick for the New York Giants have won two games. There's not a lot to recommend it. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's just a lost season. You just hope everybody stays healthy. Yeah, and be very interesting to see how Andrew's feeling once he returns to Indianapolis and resumes the rowing. That's the important story. It's what's happening on the field at West 56th and not in Baltimore and back at Lucas Oil. All right, Bob Kravitz, you can read his uh, column on WTHR.com.